Welcome to Exam Coach Pro. Get ready for three complete FAA Part 107 practice tests, each in two parts of 30 questions. These tests are designed to mirror the real exam so you can prep better to score higher. Let's get started. Regulations, visual line of sight. Which statement about visual line of sight is correct? A. Remote PIC or visual observer must be able to see the UAS throughout the operation. B. Visual line of sight is optional in class G. C. Visual line of sight is required only above 200 feet. D. Visual line of sight is required only at night. Correct answer, A. FAA requires that either the remote PIC or a visual observer maintain unaided visual line of sight with the UAS throughout the operation. Regulations, maximum ground speed. What is the maximum ground speed allowed for a small UAS under part 107? A, 50 knots. B, 87 knots, 100 miles per hour. C, 100 knots, 115 miles per hour. D, 120 knots, 138 miles per hour. Correct answer, B. The FAA limits small UAS ground speed to 87 knots, which equals 100 miles per hour. Airspace, tower symbol. Refer to sectional chart tower symbol with number 575. What does 575 indicate? A, tower top height in AGL. B, tower base elevation in AGL. C, tower top elevation in MSL. D, tower height and elevation combined. Correct answer, C, FAA. Sectional charts depict the larger number as the tower's top elevation in MSL and the smaller number as the height above ground level. Weather, wind shear. Which condition is most hazardous for small UAS operations? A. Light winds at surface. B. Surface wind shear associated with thunderstorms. C. Stable atmosphere with haze. D. Calm winds with scattered clouds. Correct answer, B. Surface wind shear near thunderstorms is hazardous because turbulence and rapid velocity changes can cause loss of control. Regulations, pre-flight power check. What must the remote PIC verify before flight regarding power supply? A. Battery reserve is sufficient for intended operation plus contingency. B. Batteries are less than one year old. C. At least two spare batteries are available. D. Battery type matches. Manufacturer recommendations only. Correct answer, A. FAA requires the remote PIC to confirm that the aircraft has sufficient battery or fuel reserve for the planned operation, including contingencies. Weather, stable versus unstable air. Which conditions are most characteristic of unstable air? A. Stratiform clouds, smooth air, continuous precipitation. B. Cumuliform clouds, turbulence, showery precipitation. C low ceilings, smooth air, and fog formation. D. Calm winds, haze, and stable layers. Correct answer, B. Unstable air produces cumuliform clouds, turbulence, and showery precipitation. Stable air produces stratiform clouds, smooth air, and steady precipitation. Sci airspace, TFR check. What must a remote PIC do before flight to avoid temporary flight restriction violations? A. Call the local police. B. Check FAA TFR listings or the Before You Fly app. C. Contact ATC via radio. D. File a waiver request. Correct answer, B. FAA requires the remote PIC to check official sources such as the FAA TFR database or the Before You Fly app before flight. Human factors aeronautical decision-making. Why is stress management important in UAS operations? A. Stress improves reflexes. B. Stress can impair judgment and decision-making. C. Stress eliminates fatigue. D. Stress reduces workload. Correct answer, B. Stress degrades performance and increases the likelihood of poor decision-making. Weather, frontal hazards. Which weather phenomenon is commonly associated with a cold front? A. Calm air and stratiform clouds. B. Smooth flying conditions and haze. C. Turbulence and showery precipitation. 
D. Stable air with poor visibility. Correct answer. C. Cold fronts often bring turbulent air, strong winds, and showery precipitation due to unstable air being lifted rapidly. Operations? GPS failure? Near Class C. If a small UAS loses GPS function while operating near Class C airspace, what is the most appropriate action for the remote PIC? A. Continue the mission and rely on visual landmarks only. B. Terminate the flight immediately and land as soon as practicable. C. Contact ATC and request vectors for recovery. D. Switch to AT's frequency for traffic updates. Correct answer. B. A lost GPS near controlled airspace could lead to airspace violations. The PIC must exercise emergency authority and terminate the flight safely. Airspace Lance Grid, refer to UAS Facility Map Grid with number 400. What does 400 mean in a Lance Grid? A. Class G floor is 400 feet. B. Maximum altitude available without ATC. C. Ceiling authorized through Lance is 400 feet, AGL. D. Minimum safe altitude is 400 feet, AGL. Correct answer, C. FAA. UAS facility maps. Display grid ceilings in feet, AGL, which indicate the maximum altitude that may be authorized automatically via Lance. Airport operations, segmented circle indicators. At an uncontrolled airport, a segmented circle includes a traffic pattern indicator aligned with runway 27 and a right-hand traffic pattern indicator. What does this signify? A. Runway. 27 is closed to operations. B. Aircraft must use a right-hand traffic pattern for runway 27. C. The airport operates under instrument-only procedures. D. Traffic is restricted to helicopters only. Correct answer. B. A traffic pattern indicator shows the runway in use, and a right-hand traffic pattern indicator in the segmented circle specifies that a right-hand traffic pattern applies to that runway. This helps pilots and remote PICs integrate safely at uncontrolled fields. Weather, density, altitude. On a hot, humid day at high elevation, what effect will density altitude have? A, improved endurance. B, no effect. C, degraded performance and reduced endurance. D, stronger GPS. Correct answer, C, high density altitude reduces lift and battery efficiency. Regulations, accident notification. How should a remote PIC report an accident to the FAA? A. Submit a written report by certified mail. B. Call the nearest ATC tower. C. Use the FAA Drone Zone online accident reporting system. D. File through NTSB only. Correct answer. C. FAA requires accident reports through Drone Zone within 10 calendar days when thresholds are met. Regulations. Category 4. Operations over people. What is required for Category 4 operations over people? A. Remote ID only. B. FAA. Airworthiness certificate without restrictions. C. Aircraft weight under 0.55 pounds. D. ATC approval. Correct answer. B. FAA specifies that Category 4 operations over people require an airworthiness certificate permitting such operations. Nice work, you've made it halfway. If these videos are helping you, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Your support makes it possible for us to keep creating free, high quality practice tests. Thank you, now let's continue. Regulations, registration requirement. When must a small UAS be registered with the FAA? A, if it weighs more than 0.55 pounds. B, only if commercial. C, if it flies above 200 feet. D only if in controlled airspace. Correct answer, A. FAA requires all small UAS weighing more than 0.55 pounds to be registered, regardless of whether operations are recreational or commercial. Regulations, Civil Twilight. Refer to Figure 14, Civil Twilight Chart for Raleigh, North Carolina. During Civil Twilight, what is required for UAS operations? A. Anti-collision lights visible for three statute miles. B. No additional requirements. C. 
FAA waiver. D. Remote ID exemption. Correct answer, A. FAA requires anti-collision lighting visible for three statute miles when operating during civil twilight. Regulations, beyond visual line of sight. When can beyond visual line of sight operations occur without a waiver? A. Never. B. Only in Class G. C. Only at night. D. Only with a visual observer present. Correct answer, A. Beyond visual line of sight operations are prohibited without a waiver. Airspace, prohibited area. Refer to figure 15. Sectional chart with prohibited area labeled P56A and B. What does P56 indicate? A. Prohibited airspace near Washington, D.C. B. Restricted airspace. C. Practice area. D. Recreational UAS corridor. Correct answer, A. P-56 is prohibited airspace near Washington, D.C., restricting all operations unless permission is granted. Weather, fog formation. If surface temperature and dew point are within one degree Celsius, what is likely? A, fog formation. B, strong turbulence. C, thunderstorms. D, clear skies. Correct answer. A, FAA requires pilots to recognize that when surface temperature and dew point are close, within approximately 2 degrees Celsius, fog or low clouds are likely. Regulations, remote PIC final authority. Who has final authority for UAS safety? A, FAA, B, ATC, C, remote PIC, D, visual observer. Correct answer, C. Regulations specify that the remote PIC is the final authority and is directly responsible for the safe operation of the UAS. Regulations. Operation from a moving vehicle. Under Part 107, when may you operate a small UAS from a moving land or water vehicle? A. Never permitted. B. Only when the vehicle is traveling under 10 miles per hour. C. When the operation is over a sparsely populated area. D. Only if the vehicle is equipped with ADSB out. Correct answer, C. Operations from a moving vehicle are permitted only if over sparsely populated areas. This prevents risk to people or property on the ground. Weather, TAF interpretation. Refer to the TAF KORD 151130Z, valid from 1512 to 1618, winds 200 at 15 knots. Visibility greater than six statute miles. Broken clouds at 2,000. Temporary 1, 5, 1, 8 through 1, 5, 2, 2. Two statute miles light rain. Overcast, 800. What is forecast temporarily between 1,800 Zulu and 2,200 Zulu? A. Fog. Two statute miles visibility. Overcast, 800. B. Thunderstorms with three statute miles visibility. C. Calm winds, clear skies. D. VFR conditions only. Correct answer. A. Tempo indicates light rain, two statute miles visibility, and overcast at 800 feet. Regulations. Hazardous materials. Can a UAS carry hazardous materials under Part 107? A. No. B. Yes, if less than one pound. C. Yes, with waiver. D. Yes, if less than 55 pounds. Correct answer, A. The FAA prohibits UAS from carrying hazardous materials under Part 107. Regulations, accident examples. Which event would not require FAA accident reporting? A, propeller injury requiring stitches. B, $700 in property damage. C, hospitalization after impact. D, Cosmetic scuff on a parked vehicle, valued at $100. Correct answer D. Only serious injury or property damage greater than $500 must be reported. Airspace, Class D ceiling, refer to figure 18. What does 2-5 above the Class D symbol represent? A. Ceiling is 2,500 feet, MSL. B. Ceiling 2,500 AGL. C. Floor, 2,500 AGL. D. Ceiling. 2,500 plus terrain. Correct answer. A. Class D. 
Ceilings are given in hundreds of feet, MSL. Regulations, emergency authority. Who may deviate from Part 107 in an emergency? A. ATC. B. FAA inspectors. C. Remote. PIC. D. Visual observer. Correct answer, C. Regulations specify that the remote PIC may deviate from Part 107 rules, if required, to meet the demands of an emergency. Weather, fog, and visibility. Which type of fog forms when warm, moist air moves over a cooler land surface? A. Radiation fog. B. Advection fog. C. Steam fog. D. Upslope fog. Correct answer, B. Advection fog occurs when warm, moist air flows over cooler surfaces, cooling the air to its dew point. It is common along coastlines and can severely restrict visibility for UAS operations. Weather, fog types. What type of fog is most likely when moist air cools overnight under clear skies and calm winds? A. Advection fog. B. Radiation fog. C. Upslope fog. D. Steam fog. Correct answer. B. Radiation fog forms overnight when the ground cools rapidly under calm, clear conditions. Operations, decision-making models. Which decision-making model is often used in UAS crew resource management? A. UDA, loop, observe, orient, decide, act. B. SWOT, C. Gantt chart, D. PERT analysis. Correct answer, A. The UDA loop is a proven model for rapid decision-making in dynamic environments such as UAS flight. Thanks for watching Exam Coach Pro. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out the next video to keep practicing, just like the real FAA exam. Or explore the full playlist for all 180 questions and gouge study sheet. And remember, you can download the complete exam pack at examcoach.pro.